tab will take you to the build menu. You got your B there. Oh god. Oh fucking bees! Bees! Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to Planet Nomads. Here we are. In our in our drop pod. We're going to uh explore some new some new land today. Super fucking exciting. Three, two, one, boom! Dead. Game over. <laughs> Best ten seconds of my life. <laughs> uh so here we are. Going to exit our escape pod. Look at how beautiful the fucking world is. My god. There's my uh my little pod. Save me from death. Death and doom. Ah, now let's have a little look around our planet. Hello, world. What's all this? What's this? What's this? There's lots of trees everywhere. Things are a little laggy because we are in early access. But, uh, the only other space game that I can compare it to, I guess, would be Grav. And I fucking love this game compared to Grav. Grav, uh, I'm not gonna shit on it. You know, it didn't become the game that I truly hoped that it would be, but uh, this is definitely something quite different and uh, seems quite a bit more in depth as well, uh, especially in the fact that you can build your own vehicles and things like that. So we'll, we'll get to that eventually. First I've got a, a lot of stuff to unlock. You can see some herbivores over here, and then there's some weird like monkey cannibal things over in the distance. Yeah, those rock monsters. And they'll uh, start pelting me with boulders if I should get too close to them. So probably uh, not a good thing to do. One of the first things that I should probably do is uh, getting some goods from this rock. And it's not just poop like in Grav. <laughs> you got uh, carbon, silicon, at least in this rock. You can also get biomass and stuff like that from trees, which is rather nice. And I also see a, a marking on the map, which looks like a, a beacon of some sort. So perhaps we should head over that way. Oh god. Don't crush me! I really like that. This game has a, a really nice feel to it. Again, I don't, uh... I don't want to not grab completely. Because that's a pretty okay game. Oh god. My, uh, my battery's out. In my little loader here. Let's see what we got here. There's bandages. Sleeping bag. There's batteries. Hmm. I'll get some water and some nutrition capsules. Alright. Try out the bandages. Try out the water. Nutrition. You are in a well-fed state. Mmm, I'm in a well-fed state. And I'm well-rested. Hooray for me. So let's uh, finish picking up this tree. Waste not, want not, you know. And it does rain quite a bit in this game. Rain effects, not really anything to write home about quite yet. But the game is just fucking oozing beauty. And I would really like to be able to uh, fly as you do in, in Grav and get a little uh, bird's eye view on this planet, but unfortunately that's not something that I can do quite yet. I do have a jetpack, but it's tiny. It's tiny. It's not going to take me many places quite yet. Oh! It says I'm hurt from the crash landing. That's a fucking lie. I just used my bandage, bro. Unless I just crash landed again. Oops. <laughs> yeah, it's a mistake. I could dig a hole or something. It won't end up filling up with water. But I don't necessarily want to live in the hole. I want to go see what this uh, beacon over here. It's luring me for some reason. And come on, nine, 900 meters? Shit. I can handle that. Let's get some of this as well. Because I know I'm definitely going to end up needing iron and silica. Extreme temperature? Are you sure? It looks like a pretty nice day. I think my sensors are malfunctioning. 
That must be what it is. Let's let's uh, explore a little deeper. We'll see if we can make the extreme temperature warning really extreme. <laughs> you can see, uh, yeah, the jetpack does just a little bit. I assume you can upgrade it in some way. Mostly what I was uh, working on was a base. A pretty cool base, which was basically just a hole in the ground <laughs> surrounded by walls and stuff like that. Because uh, it's a little bit hard to come by the goods. You know what I mean? Gotta wait for my my batteries to recharge. Right now I'm using the uh, energy from my suit. As you can tell in the lower left there. And that's not ideal, I think. Suit battery depleted. Okay, we good? Are we square? A little bit more. Come on, give me that. Alright. Let's run through the fields. Let's frolic. God damn. Game is just so pretty. And really not as uh, bulky as I was expect expecting it to be. Looking at it, um, you know, it's not as polished as something like Rust, but I was definitely expecting at least a, a 5 gigabyte download. And it ended up being like just barely over one, which was really fucking impressive to me. So, great job with the optimization. Obviously, uh, still are experiencing a little bit of memory leak. There is some, some notable slowdown, especially while I'm trying to record it. But uh, overall, really fucking nice. I like this game a, a whole heck of a lot. And um, I've got a good amount of, of goods. Biomass and uh, carba, carbon and silica. You know, real elements instead of things like plasma, which, you know, are hard to quantify. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck a ball of plasma is. It's something that you can use to make engines run in grav. But, um, yeah, it's not something that you could, uh, find just anywhere, which I think is really nice. They stick with real-life elements. Look at this. What is this? Should I shoot it with a beam of energy? Uh-oh. I've been poisoned. Oh god. That thing's mad at me now. Alright. Jetpacks, jetpacks. I didn't know that fucking antelope could poison me. Who'd have thunk it? Why is he so evil? And the music is really fucking intense too. <laughs> I'm becoming tired. Mm, I'm becoming tired now. Thank you, Biometric Suit, for letting me know that I am now tired. <laughs> I wouldn't have known otherwise. That is a difficult thing in video games. I don't know when I'm hungry or thirsty, it's just these little meters that tell me that I need to do something. Dig a hole. Go poop. You know what to do. At least, if you're in real life, you know what to do. Suit battery depleted. Bleh. I don't really want to use my last uh, bandage until I figure out how to make some more. And the unlock system is a little bit wonky at the moment. You basically need to build the basic stuff before you can build the better stuff. Which is good as far as teaching you what you need to do to play the game. But uh, it can be a little bit frustrating when you're like, I want to build the cockpit. I want to build the cockpit and make a vehicle. And they're like, you can't do that yet. Alright, cruise over the water. Crash land in the water. <laughs> oh god. Please no, I don't want to drown. Alright, that'll do. Whoop. Whoop. Up, up, up. Almost here to this, uh, this here beacon. Delicious beacon. Mmm. There's a pig farm at the top of this hill. I can smell it. Heck yeah, boy. Hmm. The Lord only knows what it might be. Anything? 
something wonderful for me? I guess not. A good place to set up base, if nothing else. 30, 29. Do I just keep walking in the circle until I find whatever it is I'm looking for? Oh, wreck container. Hello. Greetings. Biochemist Manacourt. Journal entry from Biochemist Manacourt. Used to play the message. Okay. So I'll drag this and put it in my bar and, and use it, right? Ship just tore itself apart. We were on our way to Tau Ceti, but Captain Timor suddenly changed the course. We got into heavy atmospheric interference or a geomagnetic storm of some kind. I'm not sure what happened, but everything went haywire in a matter of minutes. I saw a lot of bodies on my way to emergency evac. Me and Sarai escaped via shuttles. The downfall was pretty rough, but I'm here, alive. I guess you could call me lucky in a weird, sarcastic way. So maybe we'll find Biochemist Manacourt around here somewhere. Hmm. Oh, there's another piece of the crash... crashiness. Hello? Biochemist, are you in there? I suppose not. Well, I don't necessarily want to move it, because this could also be a... a good way to mark my base and things like that. The world is fucking gigantic. So I don't want to get too lost. But let's uh, let's do a little bit of building. Tab will take you to the build menu. You got your B there. Oh god. Oh fucking bees! 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 <laughs> oh Jesus. Okay. I got out of the swarm of bees. That's not good. Okay, so don't go over there. <laughs> I am gonna use my bandage. I don't really want to die. My sensors show you are slightly thirsty. Should should I drink some more? Yeah, my thirst is pretty uh pretty down there. I've been running for a while, I do suppose, and it's starting to get dark. Hmm. Damn. You are in a well-fed state. Okay, I'm well-fed, but I'm thirsty and I'm getting extremely tired. Which I'm going to basically end up having to sleep in a hole. Hydration secured. Or on the ground. Let's see if I can build this uh, emergency 3D printer. And this will be the startings of a base, at least. Better fucking stay away from those bees, though. Fucking bees. Alright. So there's my 3D printer. And hit this with my laser just a little. Shazam! Now I can open it up, drop all my goodies into the uh, printer inventory there, and I'll start printing up some items. Biomass container. I got some silicone. Nice. Now I'll uh, make a couple of basic frames. That seems like a good idea. And a little bit of plating. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is what's supposed to happen, I do believe. And we'll just let that cook. Because that's how things uh, work, I guess. <laughs> you just 3 pr 3D print things. It's fucking amazing. Technology, huh? Amazing! So here we are. Got my basic frames. Got my plating. Got a little bit of rain coming down on my head. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I'm so used to all this rain. And, uh, looks like we got... Uh-oh. A little bit more lag. Base foundation. Yeah, that'll be a useful thing, unless I decide to go underground. But basically everything else hinges on building the base foundation, so... Gotta do that first. And then look, there's cockpits and wheels, suspension... Man! I wanna get into all of this stuff. That could be delicious. Quite delicious indeed. So let's, uh... Can we do this out on the water? Hmm... Maybe not. 
maybe it's not a great idea. Alright. Just stick it down there. How's that? Do 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 do. Hooray! Now I'm extremely, uh, wet. It's extremely wet and horrible here. But we're still trying to have a good time. I'll build a couple more of these. Thermal malfunction. Is the temperature too high or too low? I don't know what this means. I've been poisoned. Now, how did I get poisoned? I guess by all the bees? Or was it that fucking antelope? <laughs> That mysterious antelope, space antelope. I don't understand. I don't understand anything anymore. Let's grab these frames out. Let's see what else we can build. Hmm. We've got the compact food and drink machine, which looks like I need some electronics components in order to build this. So uh, we should probably do that. And then a compact container. We can build the compact container. And I can store some stuff in my base. Won't that be super nice? Ba boom! <laughs> oh, things are just so convenient in this day and age. Isn't technology wonderful? I'm gonna get my sleeping bag out. Probably end up going to sleep pretty shortly here. You know. Get to the middle of the night, and then you go to sleep. Makes good sense to start your sleep at one. <laughs> uh, we need some biomass and I think silicon in order to make composite parts, and then we need three electronic parts as well. So I'll build that up so we can get a, our food and drink machine. That's gonna be super nice. And then I'll be able to make my own little treaties and whatnot. I wonder what they got to eat around here. Besides, like, food pellets or whatever. Food pellets could be good, too. I don't know. What flavor are the food pellets? <laughs> Pellet flavor? Gross. That's my least favorite flavor. And then there's fabric. Ooh. And it sounds like the thing is printing, which I think is pretty cool. Here we go. Got some uh, composite parts and some electronic scraps. I should probably build more of a, a foundation. I don't think a one-by-one one foundation is going to serve me. But for now, it's going to be okay. Oh, biogenerator? Mmm. I need a, a food and drink machine. I think this is the next thing on the agenda. Yes, look at it. Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it a, a beauty? A sight to behold? Uh, how about, like, right there? Not enough resources. Oh, we need basic frame. Okay, fine. I'll make a couple more basic frames. There you go. That'll make you happy, won't it? Oh, yeah, I guess I did forget the frames. You got metal plating, glass components, sleeping bag. Hmm. I don't see my... Are, are the sleeping bags single use? Is that something I'm not understanding? Alright, here we go. Ba boom! Do it up. Not enough components. Hmm, we need some basic plating. Oh god, I'm not a very good spaceman. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and throw that out, out there. Now we're almost out of iron as well, so I'll have to go, uh, go cr craft some more, or mine some more, in order to craft things that I need. But, food and drink, ready! Mmm, is it gonna be so delicious? No, because it needs <laughs> electricity. Fix the situation by connecting it with a generator. Hmm. So, that leads to the next thing that we need to create, which is the generator. So, let's uh, load up some batteries in this thing, so I'm not using up my suit's batteries. There we go. And now I've got a little gauge on my, uh, on my 
on my I, what is it multi-tool my multi-tool meter oh the sun's coming up too I didn't sleep too good oops oopsie daisy I forgot to sleep tonight <laughs> oh isn't that wonderful don't you love when that happens let me make some more of this and while that's cooking up I'll try and find some more uh, some more of this iron this iron seems to be what I need more than anything else and there's one of those big rock monkeys so we're gonna want to stay away from him he could come and get me and I've already tangled with bees and antelopes today so far so I'm not looking forward to that stay away you stay way over there I'll stay over here by my watering hole my watering hole <laughs> giggity give me this I need my basic frames please thank you so much and now this can all fit together I hope just a little bit of flying. <laughs> um, I'll probably have to end up moving that at some point. Is that a line straight? It doesn't look straight. I guess it is. There you go. Kaboosh. Hmm. It's the startings of a, a, of a little house. Isn't that so nice? Oh, and we don't even get the morning sun? Fuck yeah. We can sleep late if we want. A couple more electronic components. We can make a, a generator. Got all these goodies. All these goodies to craft up. Do I have enough for all this? I guess I do. Fantastic. Everything's going uh, according to plan, kind of. Really what I want to get into is making the vehicles and stuff like that. That seems like it could be the most fun. The most customizable. Because, uh, you know, Grav gave me quite a few vehicles to play with, which I do appreciate. But being able to make your own, how can you deny that? That is the most fantastic thing. So we shall see. We shall see what this game holds. We shall put it through its paces. And, uh, yeah, I think with friends, this game could surpass Grab easily. I can't help but compare the two. But if I compare the two just off the bat, yeah, this game, uh, this game fixed me up pretty good. Hmm. How do I connect these two things together? Should I put it outside, or should I put it inside? I think it's not fitting inside. <laughs> That's not working the way I want it to. Oh, there. How's that? Bam. Okay. That's worked. Kinda. Need to put some more biofuel in there. Farm some trees and whatnot. All right. Well, my sensors show you are slightly thirsty. I'm a little bit thirsty. First, I need to get uh, a little bit of drinky drink. Mmm. Dirty water. I love dirty water. It's so nice to live right next to the lake of dirty water. Unprocessed can be toxic in high doses. Ah, uh, that'll be fine for now. I'm thirsty now. Mmm. Oh, that's kind of nice-ish. More? You've been poisoned. <laughs> oh god, damn it! Should have expected this much. Well, we'll revisit Planet Nomads uh, in relatively short order. I hope that you'll join me for it, friends. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. If you did enjoy this series uh, or potential series. It is going to be a series. I really fucking like this. I hope that you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. Let me know what you'd like to see in this game. Uh, 
what you expect it to hold, and let's see if that comes to fruition, shall we? Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and until then, friends, bye! One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.